Hello everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. We gather today under the energies of the Capricorn Solar Festival, the energies of the full moon, continuing our work of our world wide group for the good of humanity. My name is Alexander and I welcome you on behalf of the 2025 Initiatives Coordination Group. Today, our webinar, through our webinar, we observe the cycle of solstice, linking in, tuning in with the four bits cycle of our planet moving around our beautiful star, sun. And as we tune in with its movement, we bring our focus to the work ahead of us in this year and the years to come. But before we start our sharing today, I invite Katya to lead us in meditation. Please Katya, mute yourself. Um, good day, everybody. Can you hear me well? Yes, we can hear you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be leading us into a brief alignment. So let's um, calm our bodies. Focus um, on the point of the presence of the soul and align our lower bodies with the energy of our soul. And let's sound on. to bring in the note of that alignment. We visualize the light of the Capricorn behind our back that ignites our individual centers. And we project those lights into the middle of the group. We get united with the energies of love and light and goodwill and will to good. And we see a beam of light in the middle of the group. With seven floating radiating lotuses. Our group centers. We project that light visualizing it, merging with a greater light, the light of the centers of the new group of world service. Visualize a triangle. of the centers, Shambhala, Hierarchy, and Humanity. With a Christ, 
the heart of hierarchy. Connected with the Buddha. Working with the triangle. The Buddha. Avatar of synthesis and spirit of peace. And visualize the energies of the magnet magnitude of the constellation of Capricorn. And the four points. Of Cardinal Cross. And we see the energy. Coming through the point. Of winter solstice. Feeling the space. and being directed by all those great beings into the field of new group of world service of which we are a part. We polarize ourselves in the heart center of our group. And from that center, we begin our work. Thank you. Uh, over to you, Alexander, or do you want to? Uh, I'm not sure who is starting. Thank you, Katya. The point of December solstice, winter solstice in the northern hemisphere, summer solstice in the southern hemisphere, has a special significance as it can be seen as the northern gate through which the sun passes and the Northern Gate is always the symbol of the spirit linking us to the mountain top. Antonella will share more with us about the significance of the four points of the year and uh, astrological opportunities that making itself available to us. I want to share again about the great opportunity that lies ahead of us, which uh, Tibetan master brought our attention naming it as the Festival Week of the New Group of World Servers. This 
festival happens every seven years. December, between December 21st and 28th. And as we're passing the gate of the solstice this time, I invite us to project the road ahead of us, leading us to the next year, to the next Capricorn, next year, Northern Solstice. TK brought our attention to the opportunity of the festival week um, in the quote in Esoteric Psychology, Volume 2. I invite us to read this quote again together. In December 1935, the energies of Capricorn were augmented by the pouring in of forces from a still greater constellation, which is to our zodiac what the zodiac is to the Earth. This augmentation will take place again in 1942. It must be remembered that for certain angles, from certain angles, the circle of 12 signs or constellations constitute a special unity which revolves within our universe of heavens as our planet revolves in the center of our circle of influences. By means of this augmentation, during the coming Aquarius zodiacal cycle, groups on Earth can avail themselves to the tide of the Capricornian influences which will flow into our radius of registration every seven years. The one just passed have a tremendous impetus to the work of the new group of world servers and was the cause of the very good reaction in the world to their particular impulse. This worked out in every nation and in every group as a marked tendency to goodwill. In 1942, there will come another planetary inflow of which we are all uh, begged to avail ourselves and for which we are urged to make due preparation. This week of group impact, occurring every seven years, will run from December 21st till December 28th. And if they should at any time follow the period of the full moon, the opportunity will be most significant. This possibility must be watched. This week should be regarded as preeminently the festival week of the new group of world service. And after 1942, advantage must be taken of this period and special preparation made. This fact invites the attention of all of us. And that's Esoteric Psychology, Volume 2, pages 195-96. The last festival week uh, was in 2012, and during that time it was it coincided with the full moon, and probably many of you uh, were participating in different activities during that time. And the impulse that we received as a world group during that week carries us out through the seven year cycle. And if you look around, you definitely can recognize that energy that came through that week through world group caused many shifts uh, in group work around the world. In a way, the world group undergoing the process of group integration. This coming festival week of the next year will be the last festival week before the year 2025. The 
time when the period of the forerunner, another name that DK uses for the World Service Group, comes to its culmination. And at that time, the state of human affairs, the state of humanity will be evaluated by the hierarchy on the centennial conclave that happens every hundred years on the year 25 of each century. So this festival, coming festival week of 2019 is our opportunity to get the last boost before our last stride moving forward. This is the time when we as a group can align ourselves with this extra systemic energy, stimulating all the processes, stimulating all the service activities, stimulating all the great initiatives that all the disciples around the world undertaken for the good of humanity. So as in this quote, DK says that due preparation must be made. And as we stand now in this alignment within solstice, I suggest we start putting our attention forward and start planning activities for the year ahead of us. Let's make sure that in a year time, around this time, we will be sitting in with own group in a physical circle, will be aligning with the heart center of our group, working with this energy. It's always time of festivities and it's probably would be not that easy to gather together, but it's that sacrifice of the group activities that all of us will are expected to do coming together with your own group, meditating, working, setting plans for the next seven years from 2019 to 2026. That's when the next festival week will occur. And during this year, in preparation to the festival week, all the gatherings that will be happening, all the circles that will be happening, will lead us to that event. We are expected not just to get physically together in that moment, but link with other groups around the world. And so we invite you to learn about other groups that work in your localities, that work in your country or in other countries, and link with them subjectively during this year, that way forming the fabric of etheric connectivity between the groups. That when we come to the, uh, December 2019, we could function as a world group integrated, working through one soul. I want to bring your uh, attention to uh, in another quote uh, from DK, where he talks about simultaneous unanimous meditation. This quote is from the uh, Dina 2. Early in this instruction, I used the words and united world group given the unanimous and simultaneous meditation for the jurisdiction of the Christ. I particularly want to call your attention to this last phrase, which introduces a new concept into the preparatory work to be done by the new group of world servers. The task is through meditation to establish the knowledge or of and the functioning of those laws and principles which will control the coming era, the new civilization and the future world culture. Until the foundation for the coming jurisdiction is at least laid, the Christ cannot reappear. 
if he come without the due preparation, much time, effort, and spiritual energy would be lost. Therefore, we must assume, if this premise is accepted, that there must be organized in the near future a group of men and women in every country who, under due and proper organization, will simultaneously and unanimously meditate upon those judicial measures and those basic laws upon which the rule of Christ will be founded and which are essentially the laws of the kingdom of God, the fifth kingdom, in the evolutionary and natural processes of planetary unfoldment. I invite us pause for a second and just reflect on this. I would also call your attention to the words unanimous and simultaneous meditation. They are not idly chosen. A situation which is unanimous is not one which is from the spiritual angle imposed. It is in the nature of a spontaneous mutual reaction, a reaction which is evoked by the immediate response to a, of a soul in touch with its personality, to a spiritual truth or intuition. And from this, there is no law in mind escape. True unanimity is free decision in response to a presentation of truth which is near the achieved really reality is possible. Therefore, it is the enunciation of truth that, that security for all men lies. This necess ne necessarily invo involves a deeply spiritual presentation of essential facts. The principle of simultaneity is allied to this, for a mutual recognition of an identical approach to truth renders inevitably activity in unison. I invite all of us to reflect on this and in this coming year to seek opportunity for us to practice that unanimous simultaneous meditation that in a year time we could come and stand as one group receptive to the common impulse availing ourselves available to the hierarchy becoming a conduit for that extra planetary extra systemic energy setting our plans for the next seven years for all the initiatives projects that will be laying ahead of us and for all the people who by fact of not knowing of this opportunity will still be able to receive this energy distributed from the groups that will meditate next December. And last, the last thing I want to share with you is the idea that really inspired me that was shared at the Sagittarius full moon gathering when Martin Buick said that hierarchy is the ascending and expanding levels of responsibility. 
in a way hierarchy externalizes through disciples who make themselves available by taking response next level of responsibilities. Over to you, Antonella. Thank you, Alexander. Um, so to share the screen. Uh, yes, so now you have to be available, able to ah, thank you. share your screen. Where is that? Yes, yeah, so hi everyone. Thank you, Katya and Alexander, uh, for this timely, substantial alignment and call to be one and to be responsible uh, for our hierarchical reality, which is our soul, and for our uh, shambolic reality, which is our monad which is the dimension where we are one. So tonight uh, we, we will um, um, say something uh, along what you said, Alexander and Katia, and um, we'll, we start from um, the heavens and saying that uh, uh, the solstice is really the unison sound of the planetary logos at the beginning of, uh, of one of his uh, or her or its breath and cycle so it's just now uh, yesterday and uh, also for the presence of the full moon uh, it's just now that we as one can do this unison action to point to the next solstice, uh, Capricorn solstice, so to the week of impact, of group impact. And to prepare knowingly, um, it's uh, always good to raise our eyes and heart and see what our elder and higher brothers write in, uh, in the heavens, in the score of the um, music of the spheres. So let's consider the heliocentric perspective, um, but uh, for the um, deep or slow luminaries is the same of the geocentric perspective. In these solstice readings of the heavens, we are always considering both, um, saying that uh, this perspective, heliocentric, is more as if we were in the center as uh, one soul, one human soul, already in the sun, which is uh, analogically the soul. Um, so um, the esoteric astrology of the Tibetan can also be used to read these uh, egoic groups chart, we could say. So, in, uh, in the solstice door, this is the geocentric heaven. Uh, uh, Antonella, we can see your screen. Hmm. Give, uh, give me pause. I don't know how to. Maybe I. Ah, maybe ah. it's like that. Let's check. No? Maybe try to stop sharing screen and show it again. Okay. Mm. Okay. It gives me in pause. I try to unpause it. Can you uh, press play? Yeah, it seems not to allow. Good. <laughs> 
I try to stop and then play. I keep the miss pause. Well, always things in uh, when <laughs> there are powerful moments, <laughs> problems with uh, Devi, Deva. I don't know how to say, how to do. Yes. Um... We saw when you just started sharing, we could see your screen announced. Um, maybe you could just uh, take a, a moment to email me the presentation that I could show oh. it from my screen. Or oh, now we can Pro see it. Yeah, probably is the presentation mode that stops uh, the probably. transmission. Mm -hmm. So we, we can take as it is. Yes, thank yeah. you. Beautiful. Uh, maybe. I could also enlarge. Mm, no, much, not much difference. Okay. Um, yes, so we go on. Uh, it's very little, the picture. Mm. How to enlarge. Well, but anyway, uh, do you know how to make it bigger we are in the in this mode if you uh, try to sh go to presentation mode maybe it will disappear again but maybe not oh. but we we'll take a chance uh yes it gives me pause yeah it disappeared mm. yeah sorry but we can see it as is so <laughs> let's just yeah let's go with this oh uh, yes i found it how to do bellissimo bellissimo Bellissimo. <laughs> okay, thanks for the <laughs> Italian um, tribute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, benissimo, benissimo. Okay, let's go on. Okay, this is the heliocentric chart, as we said. <clears throat> From the heliocentric um, perspective, the Sun uh, Vulcan is at the center, and the Earth, you can see here uh, at the bottom, is uh, at the door of Cancer the door of man and um, yes this um, this is the alignment and we know that in these years in these decades uh, particularly the solstice door are aligned with the galactic center that happens each uh, 13,000 years so it's uh, really a cosmic uh, gate that opens and um, and we know also that uh, in opposite we have the two origins sirius and uh, orion which are the isis and osiris in um, the myth or in the truth <laughs> of the tradition <clears throat> so we have this alignment between our magnets so to speak in our part of galaxy and this the heart of the galaxy <clears throat> and it happens just at the solstice so this uh, initiatory moments is not only for um, the capricornian and the cancerian energies um, which uh, transmit the energy of sirius the star of initiation and sensibility Sens uh, sensitivity or sensibility I never remember that <laughs> and uh, but also for this alignment with the cosmic cross we could uh, call it so and particularly this uh, solstice which takes us to the week of the new group of our service we have um, we can consider this year which starts exactly now at the solstice at the unison of the solstice is a kind of eve year of um, a more initiatory year which is 2020 2020 because there <clears throat> we will have uh, all the first ray second ray and third ray pluto jupiter and saturn we, we can see in the outer wheel here they will be uh, all the three in capricorn so the, we can call it a sort of triangle of solar consciousness comprising the first ray of Vulcan at the center, uh, exactly in the sign of initiation. So um, this happens very, very rarely. And uh, because Pluto 
skips uh, 240 years to do around um, a, a turn around the sun. So the last time that, uh, for example, the Pluto, the destroyer for the real, and Saturn, the planner, the solar planner, were in conjunction, was in the sign of Aquarius. And it was exactly at the end of the 18th century. And we saw both the American War on Independence and the French Revolution. So, liberté, égalité, fraternité, liberty, equality, and fraternity were sounding at that time, um, and answering probably to this Pluto and Saturn in Aquarius. And uh, we know that Saturn is also the third ray that uh, moves the great mass movement, uh, human mass movement. So um, this um, 2019 is, uh, as I said, a sort of eve, an advent here. And this um, um, atmosphere of waiting for, of uh, attendance, of uh, preparation is really the keynote of the of next year. And uh, we can also uh, say that um, uh, Uranus just entered uh, in Taurus from a geocentric point of view. Uh, geocentrically will be back to Taurus uh, in March the 6th. But we can say that uh, um, Uranus at, is at the door of Taurus, which is the sign, the rules, the new group of all service. So these seven years that take us to the uh, 2025 are really in color and impressed and um, are given the rhythm by Uranus, the seventh ray, which will uh, transit through Taurus, the sign of light, the sign of revelation. And um, we know also that uh, with Jupiter, which are the, the two rulers of Aquarius, the sign of the year, new era, the sign of the hierarchy. Um, these two rulers, the second ray, Jupiter, and the seventh ray, now they are in a, in a Queen Kong's uh, a relation, but let's not uh, uh, do, um, comment that. But um, the second ray and the seventh ray are the beneficent organization. The two rulers of Aquarius together, they um, give to life and uh, consciousness the beneficent accomplishment or organization. Um, and in, in terms of cycles, we have these next seven years of Uranus in Taurus that will be um, color each year by a different sign of Jupiter, because Jupiter, the master of love, the solar love, is exactly one year each, um, one terrestrial year in one sign. So each year we have a lesson that is um, colored by the sign where uh, this, the solar Christ, Jupiter, is. So we know that now Jupiter is in Sagittarius. And uh, mm, at the 2025, it will uh, arrive to Cancer, exactly conjunct to Sirius, the cosmic Christ, cosmic, cosmic Isis. Yeah, so um, this Advent year uh, is so important because the 2020, uh, 20, as we said, will be uh, a paramount year before the 2025, because not only the three rays of aspect of Pluto, Jupiter, and Saturn will be in Capricorn, which transmits the first, the third, and seventh ray, of the cardinal cross, but also because at the beginning of the, um, of the 2020 in January, uh, so just after the, the week of the group impact, we will have the first ray and third ray in conjunction, as we can see in the outer wheel here. So destroyer and Saturn conjunction. So we can say that um, 
this is an extremely definitive and propulsive align alignment that will give a powerful acceleration to the process of initiation of the human group. Fixing, uh, because the, it is in the Earth side, their previous alignment in Aquarius in the late 18th century. But maybe again, even more important, uh, in November to 2020, we will have Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius in conjunction. This is the first conjunction since uh, 1404, so at the beginning of the 15th century. So which will be a decisive step for the entry of human consciousness into the new era. So <laughs> that's why the 2019 is so important because we have many um, reasons to prepare ourselves to a great uh, impact, um, initiatory impact. Um, the other remarkable fact of this solstice beginning uh, is the proximity between um, the Hierophant to the Solar Mysteries, which is Uranus, um, the seventh ray of order and ceremonial magic, and the warrior Mars, sixth ray non-sacred, at the incipit of Taurus, which transmits the fourth ray, which impresses into matter and form the overwhelming force of the divine incentive or incentive of the light of life, the rhythmic motion of fire. This is the light, the rhythmic motion of fire, which causes any work and revelation. So Uranus will be in Taurus for seven years, as we said, until the faithful year 2025, to initiate to the cult of light. Also, the word culture, cultura, in, um, in Italian or in Latin, is really cult. And Ur is fire, light. So it's the cult of light, the culture. Okay, so moreover, we have also a trine, a trine between Uranus in Taurus and Saturn in Capricorn in Earth science. And this enhances the order planning for the seventh ray of the Saturn and Uranus and the rhythmic and intelligent reorganization seven-third of these uh, igneous impression. Yes, so let's go on. Um, if you are interested in the details, there are the signs of the heavens on the, on the website, TPS blog, you can check. This is the geocentric and um, just um, very synthetically, uh, we see opposite the sun at the gate of the gods and the earth is uh, uh, ideally in the center. So the sun, the apparent sun, analogically the personality of humanity uh, was, as we said, almost opposite the full moon, which represent the lunar bodies. And um, entering this threshold of the gods is supported by the propulsive fire of Uranus, retrograde, as we said, in its sign, Aries. And uh, we can say that when Uranus will be back in Taurus in March 6, um, we can think that uh, this passage will ratify the effective start of a reconstruction process, which will mark especially the next seven years. Okay, so let us work to this reconstruction. Okay, so for the meaning or again of the solstice, we know that uh, the earth, uh, we can say that the earth, uh, which is humanity, uh, analogically, keeps its bow steadily oriented toward the gate of the gods, illuminated by the central lighthouse, the sun Vulcan, analogically hierarchy the soul on the divine threshold of Capricorn. So as often mention, mentioned, um, this, uh, as we said, is between Galactic Center and Sirius and Orion. And uh, let's also um, remember that um, the 
energies of Sirius um, are just expressed also through Capricorn and Cancer and their fifth creative hierarchies through exactly Saturn. And uh, these are words from decay, enabling the aspirant to tread the path of purification, of probation. These energies focus and qualify the energy of the great lodge of the most high in that distant sun. They pour through the hierarchy upon the mass of men and enable the unit in that mass to isolate himself, Cancer, and turn his back, Capricorn, upon the past and find his way on to that section of the path wherein he learns to feel. We know that uh, initiation is all, is all about a kind of more sensitivity to um, the higher energies of hierarchy of heaven. So sensitivity is really the key word of um, initiation of, uh, of consciousness to become more sensitive or that is responsive or responsible. Okay. So, and think about the fact that just now set, both Saturn and Pluto are in Capricorn. So these are really years of, uh, as we said, of initiatory um, impulse and opportunity. Another word for the first decanate of Aquarius ruled by Saturn, opportunity. Okay. So, Yeah, I was just, um, I meant to mention uh, this fact that uh, could be a bit difficult to understand, but it, I think it's very important for um, um, fusing both astrology and astronomy, because at the solstices, we know that the Earth is uh, in the point of the orbit, of its orbit on the ecliptic, where the spatial vertical plane containing its polar axis, which is the spine uh, of the planet, and projected upon the solar horizontal plane of the ecliptic, intersects exactly the sun. So analogically, for this uh, perspective, which we can call astrosophy, the wisdom of uh, the stars, uh, fusing astrology and astronomy, this is the day when solar will and that the will of our planetary logos join together. That is a, a, another way to see the solstice, where the solar will and that of our planetary logos join together. So at present, this will is pointed or oriented to and um, by the star Polaris, we know, which is the current cosmic pivot and fire that rules the terrestrial point of view and motion. So at the solstices, the planetary will abstracts the whole planetary life towards the systemic pole, the north pole of the ecliptic in the sumptuous constellation of the dragon that we know is the seventh solar system, decay says. And we know that the dragon of wisdom, which is the, another name for the initiate, is really linked to the dragon constellation and energies. And we know that the dragon um, constellation uh, pours its energy through the players and arrives to the solar system. So again, the initial and initiatory cornerstone of the December solstice the impulse is the impulse that gives life, quality, and appearance to the entire development of the annual cycle. And is therefore the very cosmic direction which rightly orientates our vision towards the supernal light of the distant worlds, towards the subtler and fiery realities of our being and existing. So that is um, a way to love um, deeply uh, the science of the heavens is to know where we are and when to do what 
this is the science of, or the art of, um, of the initiate, as uh, Plato used to say. You, we have to know uh, why, when, and what to do, and, and how. So this art um, uh, of planning, also consciously, the action of the new group of our service, of our action, has to refer to the heavens and to the four corners of the annual breath, which is the greater breath of the planetary logos around the sun, which is its higher center, is its soul. Instead, the, the minor breath or the planetary logos is the day when it rounds around the, its polar axis, its spine, its uh, antenna of the wheel. So each day, the planetary logos is like he says, I am, I am, I am. Each year, the planetary logos says, I am that, I am that. And when it will be as the sun, that means uh, sacred, initiate, uh, he will say, I am that, uh, that I am. And that I am that, that I am. Or that am I, I don't remember how in English. So um, let us consider what uh, Alexander uh, read um, about uh, um, the um, impact the uh, group impact week and um, yeah the energies of capricorn were augmented uh, augmented by the pouring in of forces oh sorry uh, i lost my okay yeah um oh. by the pouring in of forces from a still greater constellation. And we know that constellation is a word used by decay to mean a system of stars or a system of constellations, uh, which is to our zodiac what the zodiac is to the Earth. So we can also um, ask what is this greater constellation. And we know that uh, this is a an occult mystery which is not known by the also by the initiates and so on. Um, we just give an idea in humble um, analogical uh, perspective just using the analogical thinking and try to figure out the the cosmic structure where we live are and move <clears throat> So this greater constellation must be a sort of super cosmic horizon of the zodiac. And we know from uh, rays in initiation that the zodiac is the heart in the head of the, of the unknown, of the great cosmic logos um, that um, is that being um, where our sun, our system, solar system or solar logos is the heart center. So the heart in the head is the zodiac. And so we could think this um, greater constellation could be of the order of the galactic arm or something like that. Um, so Orion gives the name to our galactic arm, um, local or Orion arm, the astronomers say. Um, so we could think that prob possibly this greater constellation could be the Osiris, the, um, uh, the greater magnet than Sirius. Sirius is like uh, our local uh, magnet, which uh, helps her husband, Osiris, to do this, uh, to uh, transmit these energies of intelligent love, serious, um, we know we don't know what center in the galaxy is Orion, but uh, we know that Sirius and Orion are a unit, a double, a duality, a diad, better. So could be Orion, this greater constellation with the heart in the head constituted by the zodiac and um, the center 
could be in the Pleiades, as we know from Blavatsky and uh, also esoteric astrology, that our local universe turns around Alcyone and the Pleiades. Okay, apart from this um, cycle perspective, we uh, arrive to another um, um, consideration or perspective of the cycles for the new group war service towards a conscious planning, which is really what we need to prepare uh, to do this week, not only to the 2020 to the 2025, to be um, a responsible for a runner. So we know that uh, from, uh, from the K that the, the new group of war service have cycles of uh, three years also, and seven years, and then there are cycle of nine years, more for hierarchy and so on, uh, for the plan uh, grasped by hierarchy. So for the three-year uh, cycle, uh, the case says, all creative processes proceed with the cyclic rhythm. The rhythm set by the new group of world servers is a three-year cycle. So the next year, 2019, is in an triad of tension expansion, uh, which is one of the three qualities of this three year cycle, and particularly will be a year of emergence and impact on public consciousness. So um, the decay explains these, um, these uh, qualities by saying that uh, um, impact upon the public consciousness by the sounding and the emphasizing of some one clear note. If this cyclic measure is kept thus in mind, no serious mistakes will be made. The new group of war servers must work in these three year cycles and the foundation of cyclic attainment must be laid. This cyclic, cyclic rhythm will release from strain and yet enable the workers in the group to feel that there is no failure. Okay, so we can um, wonder what is the um, note, the clear note. We have said already um, many hints to grasp it and uh, we can uh, also summarize them. So hierarchy is ruled by Aquarius, the new group of war service is uh, ruled by Taurus, and we are going to that great conjunction between the second ray, heart, Jupiter, and the fourth center, um, Saturn in Aquarius, which translates the fifth ray of the new era or the new culture. And uh, Aquarius, the sign of the new age, as I said, is ruled by Uranus and Jupiter. So, seven, the second ray of order and love for a beneficent organization. So, and we had these seven year steps to 2025. And with Uranus in Taurus, Jupiter from uh, Sagittarius to Cancer. Then the first ray, second ray, third ray in 2020 in Capricorn. And we have Jupiter one year in one sign, a lesson each year, in order to expand human consciousness, because Jupiter's second ray is really expansion, expansion of consciousness or wisdom. So 2019, Jupiter in Sagittarius in the last of the three years of tension. Um, and uh, yeah, of tension. Sorry, but I lose my, okay, of tension expansion, especially dedicated to, oh my God, <laughs> technique sometimes yeah. is my Technology enemy. Play, play tricks with us, but it's, it serves yeah. well connecting us all. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm really grateful to Divas of Internet for linking us. Yes. Yeah, we can speak them well. Yeah. Cool. Okay. 
Yes, so okay, Jupiter is Sagittarius and this um, year dedicated to impact upon the public consciousness by sounding and the emphasizing of someone clear note. So let's try to sound this note. So Jupiter in Sagittarius, which transmits, it's the only sign that transmits both even and uneven rays, which uh, is, is really about synthesis between opposites or between uh, yeah, dualities. So we could say the harmonizing wisdom of the disciplined humanity, fourth ray, the vision of the distant goals, fifth ray, the ardent one pointedness towards the common good, sixth ray. This could be uh, three, um, three possibilities to sound this clear note of the Sagittarius, uh, which is, we know, the disciple sign and is before the summit of Capricorn, be before initiation. And the case says that the initiate is initiate before the ritual of initiation takes uh, uh, place. So preparation in a way is to be as if we were already um, a sort of one hierarchical humanity, one hierarchical human group. I think that uh, the next step that Alexander um, was saying is really um, behaving and um, be responsible for these uh, urgent times. Okay, this is the quote I found that I think is really um, summarizing all these things. Vision is all the, um, about Jupiter and Sagittarius. Vision is of the nature of divinity. Expansion is a vital power and prerogative of deity. Therefore, let us struggle to grasp what is possible at our particular stage of development and leave eternity to reveal its hidden secrets. So this is um, really, it speaks of silence. We should also stop here and prepare, prepare in, in silence. But we are not stopping here, <laughs> of course. So let's uh, feed or nurture the vision of distant goals with uh, what we mentioned in the last solstice uh, webinars. This is um, the seven um, possible distant goals of the evolutionary hierarchical plan. They are inferred by from, from the text of decay and uh, they are associated just to the seven rays. So we can say that the division or the restoration of the mysteries or the return of the Christ of group initiation for the plan, imitation of the hierarchy, new culture and civilization, new world religion, and all the restoration of the plan on earth. The vision of these seven distant goals are uh, enhanced and uh, empowered next year by uh, Jupiter in in uh, Sagittarius, which will be a, a perfect trine to Uranus, his uh, fellow in uh, beneficent organization, exactly at the next solstice, December solstice. So we have another great sign between uh, the heart and the base, uh, also the head, the head center, because Uranus is, is really a first uh, scheme of the synthesis. So it's a uh, seventh ray, but it's really uh, a greater first ray is associated to the permanent mental atom of the solar logos. So, um, yeah, these seven uh, uh, distant goals uh, can be associated to the seven um, main elements of reality, which are life, space, consciousness, ideas and formulas five forms and events, communion, geometry, 
or to the seven main figures so this psychogeometry that means a, a geometry that is alive um, that's another way to to see things ordinarily uh, taught uh, as dead to see them as alive because they are alive they are deva deva in action so the first ray is life center and so the centers are really the the places or the, where life um, is and ir irradiates and um, so the restoration of the means and Vulcan is the um, functionary of this uh, life center functions space is associated to, uh, associated to the circumference Jupiter return of the Christ consciousness to the triangle fatal ideas and formulas on the buddhic plane to the square to the imitation of the model to mercury and forms and events to the star of five culture and civilization um, and venus communion star of six new society neptune and geometry overall design free order uranus so as we show as we have shown in the last uh, solstices this um, perspective of the, uh, the this first formulation we could call of the possible um, evolutionary plan for the next millennium um, has these seven distant goals in the central diagonal and um, we are going to to deal particularly with the vision of the new culture new civilization um, because this um, first formulation um, precipitated exactly um, in 1987, so we are now in 2019, um, we are just um, in a cycle, which is the fifth year or the fifth septennium, starting from the year 1987, which is uh, associated to the 1-1, one -one, which this is another way to leave cycles to try to incarnate in a group consciousness um, to nurture each year uh, one of the 49 fires or goals of this living being, which is the plan, which is the hierarchical plan. So this is an attempt to um, substantiate, so to speak, the plan in a human higher minds, our minds. So the new culture and civilization we could say that is the manifestation and realization of the hierarchical plan on earth. So purpose is first ray and gives direction. The plan is a sort of third aspect and third ray and new culture and civilization is the manifestation of this project or this plan, which is a third moment. So the fifth ray and the third ray, and just as a hint, we know that Capricorn is ruled by third ray Saturn and fifth ray for hierarchy for initiates Venus. So we are really dealing with the relationship of polarity between Earth and Venus. We know that Venus is the Isis for uh, Oros Earth, is really our angel, our solar angel. Um, so next year, uh, with this Jupiter in Sagittarius, which transmits the fifth ray, we can also think that uh, we can plan uh, to sound a clear note for the new culture and civilization to grasp a, a clearer a, a vision of what is new, a new culture and civilization. So I found, we found uh, some quotes from Decay and you can find the text uh, asserting the planetary plan in the documents page of um, uh, of TPS, which uh, collects all the distant goals of the plan, uh, the 49 uh, goals of the plan, which uh, disciple um, grasp through intuition um, in uh, yes in the 90s, Enzo Savoini. And uh, there you can find all the, this plan explained and also oriented to oriented to the 2025 crucial date. 
uh, yes, in order to to assert the plan of love and light to, from this position of fire of as if we were uh, at the center. Okay, so uh, civilization is an expression of a mass level of consciousness. As that consciousness, okay, as that consciousness works out in physical plane awareness, physical plane adjustments, relationships, and methods of living. A culture is essentially an expression of the intellectually and vitally mental significances, significances and the state of consciousness of the mentally polarized people of the race, of the intelligentsia, or of those who constitute the link between the inner world of soul life and the outer world of tangible phenomena. In those words, the, the raison d'être or the mental plane is the raison d'être or the mental plane is concisely stated. So the mental plane, which is related, we know, to the fifth um, mental um, plane and uh, Shakti, uh, which is again Venus, which is Agni, which is uh, the higher mental force uh, or will to manifest the um, this. Uh, force. Okay, again another quote. The masses are negative to the plane of desire and of feeling, and the civilization of any age is largely the exteriorization of that particular level of consciousness. The intelligentsia are positive, and their positive mental orientation produces the culture of their time, or their, ray, or their race, or their community. We have, therefore, in the human family, masses, negative, responsive to desire, civilization. Intellectuals, positive, responsive to mind, culture. In this, you have the two poles which distinguish the race. And it is through... <clears throat> through the interplay To the interplay between these two, that human activity, progress, and development is generated and carried forward. Yeah. So the power of the hierarchical spiritual impact focused through Christ and his work in disciples will be so great that the use, usefulness, the practicality, and the naturalness of the right human relations will become soon evident that world affairs will rapidly, so, rap, so evident, sorry, it's, um, I lost myself, you need, so evident that world affairs will rapidly be adjusted and the new era of goodwill and of peace on earth will be inaugurated. The new culture and the new civilization will then be possible. The production of the culture of any given period is simply the reflection of the creative ability and the precise consciousness of the initiates of the time. So that is a responsibility of the new group of world servers to really um, improve in this uh, creative ability to think to use the higher thought to um, to dream consciously uh, the future and to prepare this uh, new culture and civilization. So um, we are planning the next June solstice, which will be the climax of the 2019, to irradiate in a September um, formation. This uh, hypothesis of uh, Lambdoma, Lambdoma is a 49 um, Pythagorean uh, matrix, um, which is uh, useful to order our thoughts and uh, using the seven rays um, possibilities. Or well, maybe I do it a bit. Okay. And um, yeah, you can see this is a, um, 
built using the harmonic science of sound of Pythagoras. And you can find also these uh, articles on harmonics and the document on PPS. And uh, with the uh, consideration applied to the seven rays of teaching by Enzo Savoini in, uh, in that document. And we just used the, the, the laws of the of the of creation or the, we know that sound as Blavatsky said is the first correlation of space is the creator agent the first creator agent of space so we just mm, used as if we were um so creator uh, thinking uh, with the thinking uh, possibilities and we placed the seven uh, words in uh, the column, purpose, first ray, field of service, second ray, plan, third, model, fourth, manifestation, fifth, community, sixth, order, seventh. And in the abscissa, in the horizontal line, we have uh, three triplets of ver verbs of uh, the rays. For example, first ray to be, to govern, to liberate, second ray to love, to educate, to attract. So you can see in uh, orange seven verbs that can uh, summarize uh, seven rays activities of human of human activities. So government, politics, education, planning or uh, economy, expressing art working science and communicating also religion in a way and organization so we just used uh, this um, pattern this um, method we just used um, for the 49 intervals of this matrix um, so note that this is not a mere a mere um, mental exercise it's just uh, uh, the attempt to um, think in a more scientific and older way. So it's like um, the syntax of the speech of our language is not casual. And um, to, in order to make it causal, we, we have to know what is a name, what is a verb, what is a complement, what is a proposition and so on. And they are not causal, they are like uh, numbers in mathematics. So the verbs is really something that comes from the center and goes outside and is emotion. And a name is a pure energy, an idea. And um, if you combine some ideas, you be the formula. And we know from decay that a formula uh, a word of power is first ray, a mantra is a second ray, but a formula, which are not only the mathematics formulas, is a combination of ideas. And there is a third ray arrows to really put in motion the Devic um, beings, which are forces, and which are also the building forces that will cons uh, build um, the future and the new culture and civilization. So we have to think um, and to dream uh, knowingly, uh, to imagine um, creatively the new culture and civilization. So this matrix is uh, just another attempt to um, put in order our um, future human activities. So for example, uh, in um, in for the government, uh, the new government, the new planetary government will be or has to be a source of freedom. One one, this is the purpose of the new government or the new culture to be a source of freedom, and this is a formula so powerful that um, if you think about a, a group of people organized as a septenary or the first ashram, second ashram, third ashram, we have uh, uh, been trying in, um, in different groups and situations this uh, experiment to be a septenary um, 
nucleus to do that and we are we are doing uh, in uh, specific dates for example when there is a conjunction with the first ray pluto and it will be <laughs> to be the alignment earth sun um pluto on the uh, uh, 11th of january for example uh, so very close in that date the first rays uh, so these formulas sacred to the new government so the new governor has to be and will be a source of freedom will guide toward the common good will direct to the solar plan will adhere to the model of real government will govern according to hierarchical principles, will assert the unity of government, will liberate through order. So if you see, all these verbs are for a sort of first ray verbs, first ray's motion, and the complement, a source of freedom and toward the common good is a sort of second ray, to the solar plan is a sort of third ray, to the model of real government, a sort of fourth ray according to hierarchical principle is a way to manifest the government according to hierarchical principle asserting the unity of government 1661 liberating for order 71 so um, this is uh, respected in all the boxes of this matrix and uh, we in uh, as i was saying in the um, summer not summer but the june solstice uh, as a september we will do um and come on meditation as one human group uh, and we irradiate this um, landoma or the new culture and civilization so this is a uh, mm -hmm. um, an appointment is uh, like uh, we have thrown an arrow to the next Capricorn and the uh, week of impact. And we have thrown also an arrow to the next solstice. It's just um, al um, along the axis Capricorn and Cancer, the two gates. So these are the right moments to do um, powerful actions of beginning and irradiation at the summit at the summit so okay, now, I, will stop now. Yeah, yeah. I think we are now getting uh close to the end of the time that we yes. allocate usually to the webinars and i suggest we still use the opportunity of us being here together in a circle and energies of the full moon that we could meditate yes. empowering our intention for the work in the coming year and i really appreciate that you brought attention to the astrological significances of the 2020 because uh, DK also uh, talks about the period of distribution following the festival week that's yeah. the 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 next six months following the festival week it's always a period of distribution of the energy of the impact and so those astrological significances that you brought to our attention that would be another opportunity to irradiate that impulse that we will receive so i suggest we now go into meditation and please lead us that we could empower our intention for the work for the year ahead of us yes thank you yeah the meditation will be very um dry and uh, simple and these are seven formulas uh, for this assertion of the plan of love and light on earth and i think that is a good way to assert um, this uh, intention to prepare to this advent year and um, so we can think that we as a prototype for a planetary human order we assert the plan of love and light on earth. So we just focus on, um, on our vertical spine, which is our polar axis 
an infinite direction. where life descends and ascends and conquers space through love and light of seven centers. First ray, we are the central human presence. Second ray, we are in the heart of Christ. Third ray, we illuminate the planetary purpose. Fourth ray, from the place of fire, we contemplate and reflect the model. Fifth ray, we impress the plan in human minds. Sixth ray, we guide back to the culture of heaven. Seventh ray, we irradiate the hierarchical order. Great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of man, let the plan of love and light work out and may it see the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Oh. Gratitude to all of us.
Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Antonella. Thank you. Thanks to you, the 2025 initiative. So impersonal and open. Um, this time when we usually close our webinars, and so for those of you who uh, have other commitments, we say thank you until the next time. But if anyone wants to stay a little bit longer and share own impressions, or maybe questions, um, we can stay for a little bit longer. I hope it's okay with you, Antonella. Of course, of course, yes. Um, just as a transition, I want to use this moment while uh, uh, we have the entire audience still just to invite you to our coming webinars. Um, and uh, our next webinar uh, will be on December 31st, and it will be Capricorn Alignment with Jerusalem via the Hekal Group. And it will be as part of the New Year Eve vigil organized by Moria Federation. It will be for hours program, and we uh, invite you to attune at any moment. And um, whenever you have a chance to link with the worldwide group and to radiate to mass consciousness the ideas of unity and common good. And on January 6, we will continue our work with the following the new moon cycle with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And in the new moon of Capricorn, we will work with the goal eight, decent work and economic growth. And our next solar festival webinar will be on January 19th. And it will be Aquarius Festival with Jose Becerra focusing on the uh, seed group of scientific workers. So please let's stay connected and we have another day of the full moon energies available for us. So let's link with our own groups and worldwide subjectively. Thank you. And so I invite any impressions from the uh, audience now or any questions. Yeah, in waiting, um, I was observing that uh, um, on January 6, uh, um, around 5 or 6 of January, there is always the um, alignment with Sirius. The Earth is uh, on the same meridian of the Sirius, which is a conjunction. So we will have not only the new moon, but also this alignment and also the partial eclipse of the Sun. And, and the the 19th, we will have another conjunction with the Altair or the Eagle. So if you are interested to follow the steps of the heaven, you find you can find the ephemerides you know, on TPS uh, documents page for the next year with all these signs, um, uh, with the, also with the stars of the cosmos, but also conjunction, heliocentric conjunction between luminaries. Um, so it's good also to become acquainted more and more with the, the steps of the solar plan, which is uh, our metrics to learn how to progress consciously and knowingly. Uh, hello, Marta. You hello. unmuted. Hello, Alex and 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 Janella <laughs> and Katya. I um want to thank you, Antonella, for uh, both grounding and contextualizing the direction on which we're going. It means uh, a great deal. Um, and I speak from the standpoint of um, positioning ourselves at the United Nations in a way that uh, can help us keep our eye on um, 
the new civilization. From that experience, what came clearer to me is the um, significance of uh, Saturn, uh, the Ray 3 energy um, that's prompting uh, emergence of, of new strategies and, and new kinds of interlinkages. And sometimes it gets so complex, it's a bit overwhelming. Um, but what you, what you offered for us is a way of integrating a lot of the details. So just let me say I'm extremely um, inspired by uh, this contribution. And I, it, it illustrates also the importance of groups interacting with other groups in a very concerted, concentrated way this year. So let me make my commitment to that. Thank you. Thanks to you. <clears throat> what also uh, interesting that you you brought to the attention this three year cycle of the new group of old service and that it's the year of the impact on the public consciousness and it's another topic that's um, related to the this coming festival week that's this is the week of the entire new group of world service not just esoteric workers but it's just by the nature of this information so far only esoteric groups been exposed to this opportunity mm -hmm. and so in a way it's our responsibility to spread the message about this opportunity to people who don't know this esoteric arcane information and that it's really like to find the words that will communicate this opportunity to people of all all people of goodwill that yeah. this is time to set our plans ahead for seven years this is in a way a time of kind of free energy money coming from the out of the space for all people of goodwill so we have to energize our initiatives with this energy coming so we need to find this language that will get impact on the consciousness of all people of goodwill that this is the time for us to unite and get that boost moving forward yes yes and you invited alexander also to consider the importance of the cross of the equinoxes and solstices and uh, i think that we have sounded tonight also a clear note and um, of this advent of this um, one-pointedness to to this next uh, Capricorn and uh, we can also nurture and uh, sustain uh, next equinoxes and solstice like doing um, a four um, impulses all coordinated because we know that uh, the four Maharaja, the four corners of the world, the, the cross is really the number four that takes the triangle into form so is uh, the four is also at the center of each our heart so the buddhic energy which is the fourth plane is really pouring uh, out from the center in four directions so in each solstice and equinox we have one of these um, impulse from the heart of the planetary logos and the new group of war service to every group every soul every heart has to, to do um, knowingly um, uh, this um, ascension through a cross of uh, uh, formulas or impulses or actions. So if the one group we are, we have asserted the unity, the fire of unity we have asserted tonight also, um, has to grow and uh, become a, a, a greater fire and um, yes and I think that all the conscious beings uh, build uh, in such a way means that uh, they have a plan and they follow uh, the right moment to do what they know is useful for the field so center field and the cross 
to arrive from the center to the circumference. This is the wheel of the triangle, which is the one at the center, consciousness. <clears throat> uh, Katya, you raised hand, your hand, but you're muted in your side. Mm, yes. Oh, um, that was really so clear and so at one and uh, this amazing detail and uh, subject for scholar work and for pondering and for meditation it's um it's a whole web <laughs> of yeah. lights and hints and uh, opportunities for each to each <laughs> their own because each of us will have <clears throat> certain particular strengths at those points in, in your charts you'll find them <laughs> in the chart of the group of the events we'll find them and um, so it's a uh, it's a whole <laughs> whole year of work ahead of us uh, with the supporting points of um, other the solstice and uh, equinoxes it's uh, it's um, it's very special Hey, it's a fiery um, needle work. <laughs> as, uh, yes. we, are, we are seeing. I was I, I was looking for the word uh, for uh, ricamo in Italian, which is just what you are projecting, <laughs> and I found the needle work embroidery. <laughs> so we are we are really building a sort of fiery embroidery on the higher mental um, web uh, of the mental plane. For, yeah. for us, for humanity, for yeah. us. And uh, it's, it's coming with a very unique clarity. And that clarity creates an, uh, an approach, um, the very direct path to approach. And um, for that, I'm deeply grateful to, uh, to you, to us, to the group, because the group does sound a note, and um, it raised all of the above into the plane of distribution for the for, for everyone, whoever oh, whoever will come. Yes, whoever yeah. will come to that. Um, so thank you, and I also wanted to tell that. Um, there's a there's a comment because when you mentioned Sagittarius and Jupiter and Sagittarius, when uh, on one of the remember to uh, uh, remember that note that Sagittarius gives the vision to the rushing bull to so the to Taurus. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. Ah, so, yeah. Ah. And so it yeah. just came so clear that there's already actually work that's being done with that uh, channeling this energy of Sagittarius into connecting into Taurus mm -hmm. uh, on Thursdays, 10 minutes before the 5 o'clock mantrum yes. for those who want to be part of that particular um, line. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, <laughs> I just saw that in announcements, somebody wrote about your three, uh, three do you remember the the moment about the the note of three year cycles, yeah. and um, somebody whose initials are J O wrote, mm -hmm. perhaps first three years equity, second maybe quality equity, uh, second three years unity, and mm -hmm. third three years implementation of first and second to national and international systems. Good. Um, that, <laughs> good. Yes, Very that was, good. That, that was my thought too. That, was, that, that was, is a plan. <laughs> yes. Fun to work. So um, I'm not sure who, who is it, but uh, thank you very much for this um, great, <laughs> I don't know how to say, and sometimes also English words kind of evade, but yeah. um, yes. But deeply. And one last thing I want to say that do you remember the moment when you said that after those amazing notes about Jupiter and Sag, 
he said that we should just stop there and be in silence. Yeah. Although we can't stop at all because, of course, there is more <laughs> and more and more. Maybe we should honor those moments, no matter who is um, pre presenting what. If there is a call for a moment of silent meditation, even for, for a minute or two, however, however it is, <clears throat> I, I feel we should honor that. Because in the end, we are not in the... In, the, in, the, in here to say with the words, but we're in here to bring and anchor the energies you now and um, into the field group and group of the field of the group and into the larger group and for, therefore I think we could afford mm -hmm. to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All done. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> that. Thanks to you. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> if anyone has any more comments, please uh, raise your hands. We will unmute you. And uh, thank you, Katya, for uh, reminding about the Thursday Silence Initiative. I, I, I wanted to bring it to the circle and uh, I forgot. Somehow it's really powerful. Uh, it's been a few weeks since we started doing this 10 minutes of silence before 5 o'clock in your time zone. And I've been talking uh, with one of the colleagues, with my uh, with Maria Caligari, and she said like, wow, it's so powerful. And it was exactly my impression when the first time I did this silence, it's like, wow, it really works. <laughs> and it was a, a impression uh, that came from this um, connection between Taurus and Sagittarius that, to be brought to everyone's attention. So I really encourage you to use this opportunity every Thursday for 10 minutes silence, linking up with the world group, listening the common silence of the world group, and then sounding the five o'clock mantram. And channeling the energy of Sagittarius. And Jupiter. Uh, and through Jupiter, you know, to the... Um, new group in connection with Taurus. So yeah, and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Fatima. Yeah. No, no, the vision, vision is really a word that connects uh, the um, Sagittarius direction to the light of Taurus, if you... We can also say that uh, Jupiter and Sagittarius um, in essence reveals or helps the vision of the of this Taurus in a divine incentive, this life in action that uh, is moving us towards the one to to be one through all the stories of our daily life or planetary life, but we are destined to to be to remember and to recall that we are one monad, one being. One only. So, what unity in diversity is the the formula of the fifth race, and I think uh, Blavatsky says. So it's also the mantra of Europe: unity in diversity. So it's really five ray and first ray. Um, these uh, Sagittarius that takes us to Taurus, which is also Vulcan in a way. Anyway. Mm, yeah. So thank, thank you, you, everyone. Thank you, Antonella. And uh, yeah, gratitude. To probably spend. let's honor <laughs> our common space with a moment of silence as we close our work today. Yes, thank you.
Namaste. Let's stay connected. Namaste.